This is a quick video showing you how to transfer any drum rack kits you have made from Ableton Live into your Push 3 standalone. Once you've connected your Push 3, you'll see the Push show up as an icon in your Places view. The Push actually has its own user library, which is separate from your normal desktop Ableton user library. Kits are a kind of preset, so let's make a home for them in the Presets folder. I named mine My Kits. Now find some ADG kits you've made and want to transfer to your Push 3. By default, drum racks you have saved are saved in your Ableton user library under Presets, Instruments, Drum Rack. Now copy them into your My Kits folder we made on the Push. You can drag them individually or drag a folder of kits. The drum rack kit presets are now on your Push, but they don't have any samples so they won't actually work yet. We need to grab the samples now. In Ableton on Desktop, when you drag in samples to a drum rack and save the kit, the samples are imported into your user library's samples folder automatically. They are stored in a subfolder called Imported. Unfortunately, they are just thrown in here loose, so the folder can be very chaotic. So now, you can copy over your entire imported samples folder, but that may be way too many files for some users. Alternatively, it would be very tedious to hunt down each sample manually. However, I found a workaround for this. Drag the kits you want into a new Ableton project. I'm gonna just do three for the example, but you can drag as many as you want. Then go to File, Collect All and Save. Make sure those first three options are enabled. Now I can open this project folder, and there's a similar imported samples folder, but instead of having all my samples, it just has the samples for the kits that I chose. Now you just need to drag the project's imported files to the, your push's imported files. On your push, make sure to exit any project you have open so that it can refresh. Navigate to your Push 3 user library and find your kits. When you load one up, it should correctly load the sounds. If it doesn't, make sure that your sample file paths match exactly with your desktop user library file path. It's possible Ableton will have the software copy the samples for you in a future update, but currently, moving them manually is the only method I've found to get the kits from Ableton into Push 3. But there's actually one more way of managing your kits. If you're familiar with our app KitMaker, you know that you no longer have to create kits by hand and that you can simply drag and drop in your drum sample packs or machine library folders and it will create Ableton kits for you automatically. If you're not familiar with our app, I'll put a link at the end of the video if you want to check it out. For your kit maker kits, copy over your drum rack presets like we did earlier. Because KitMaker makes a folder of multiple kits for each sample pack, you can drag a whole folder of kits. For example, this drums that knock folder of kits that I had already made with KitMaker. Now we need to copy over the samples. This is another benefit of KitMaker. You don't need to do the workaround of making a new project to collect the samples. KitMaker organizes its samples when storing them in your user library, so it's easy to just grab the kit samples you need. Let's go back to the Push User Library's Imported Samples folder. We need to do the one-time setup of creating the KitMaker Samples folder so that we can match the folder structure of your Ableton user library. Now, whenever we need to import samples for a sample pack of kits, we can just drag that folder over in one drag. For instance, I'm copying over the Drums That Knock folder of samples. And that's all there is to it. You're able to open all these kits on your Push 3 standalone and have these kits on the go. These are the first days of people getting a hold of the Push 3, and I couldn't find any information on moving the drum kits over, including in the Push 3 online manual. So I hope this video helps some of you. Thanks for watching.